Right now, Minnesotans are on the way to help families facing the aftermath of a major hurricane. Crews are searching for survivors after Hurricane Ida slammed into the Louisiana coast yesterday. We know the Category 4 storm killed at least two people and the death toll is expected to rise. Ida left a million homes and businesses without power. Right now, the entire city of New Orleans is in the dark. Hundreds of Minnesotans are already en route to help, and soon they'll need more help from the rest of us. Susan Elizabeth Littlefield shows us how we can all pitch in. For all of us, the images are upsetting. But for Michael Porter, the images are triggering. It's something that I, 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 I go through therapy for, um, you know, to, 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 to help keep my sanity. Um, you know, um, it's something that really bothers me. Every time I hear thunders or, or, or any type of rain, um, I still have these memories. A Mississippi native turned Minnesotan. He survived Katrina. Two of his family members did not. It's it hurtful, you know, just seeing all, you know, the bodies, um, no electricity, the, the screaming. As he watches the pain now unfold with Ida, he remembers the strength. We looked out for each other. We made sure each other ate. Um, and we just and we just continue to strive to get strong and be better. And you better believe that from here in Minnesota, on the opposite end of the Mississippi, help is on the way. The local Red Cross has 21 Minnesotans on the ground. This Bloomington couple is running a feeding truck. Excel Energy sent 240 contractors to help restore power. In Nakama, the local Jewish response disaster team is accepting volunteers to deploy to clean and salvage homes. Michael just sent care packages of his own and hopes deeply that others will care too. This is very important. Uh, we don't want to repeat history. We want to make, make a better history. Susan Elizabeth Littlefield, WCCO, 4 News. There are three ways to help right now. Sign up to volunteer, donate blood, or send money. And you can find ways to do it all at wcco.com links.